Okay, so this is gonna be my review for chapter 1025 and obviously this video will have spoilers so if you don't have read the chapter yet uh, read it first and then you can watch this uh, chapter one piece and obviously we're gonna start with the fight with uh, continuation with the fight with Yamato and Kaido and now obviously Momonosuke have been a big uh, dragon a grown-up uh, so Yamato, uh, Kaido tells Yamato that you have no friends, everybody that gets close to you and be your friend turn up to be killed or abandoned you and so on. And yeah, obviously the fight continuation, continue on, uh, Yamato do different attacks with her Kinabu. And one interesting ability she show in this chapter is that she use like some kind of almost like a, a clone so when Kaido uh, hit that clone the clone vanish and then she attack him from above with her Kinabo and obviously the fun thing with the whole chapter is that uh, Monk the Luffy have to uh, <laughs> make Yama, uh, Momonosuke to uh, fly up high because Momonosuke is scared of height so even when he's um, a big dragon he's still scared of height so it's funny so they, he, when he go up to the highest floor that he closes his eyes so he go different route in the house in the building so he's throwing lots of things and all of the other characters in one piece uh, in Vano right there think how is it possible that we can have two dragons because the dragon fruit is extremely uh, rare and uh, so there is obviously then then they say obviously yeah, uh, Momonosuke is obviously is a pink dragon and Kaido is a turquoise uh, yeah turquoise blue dragon and turquoise blue and obviously you see the, the big difference because Kaido's dragon have totally different horns Kaido's dragon have like a, almost like a devil's horn uh, and Momonosuke's dragon have more the deer horn, so it's more like common eastern dragon's horn that you see on the eastern dragon have almost like a deer, uh, deer and deer horns, and Kaido have more like a bull, bull horns, like devil bull horn. Uh, so they come up, and you see the funniest uh, part of the chapter that you see Momonosuke uh, coming out, up. To the highest uh, ceiling on the top of the skull uh, dome and then in, in the background and obviously at the same time when uh, Yam Yamato fighting Kaido yeah so this, this uh, so we see all of this we see the fight um, and obviously we see that Kaido was as I said before try to break down Yamato to make her not uh, lose her fighting spirit and really break her down in, in psych psychological ways and tell her that she is only bred for fighting and she is she have no what can i say she have no purpose to think that she never will leave the vano island that she's always have been uh, kaido's uh, daughter and this kind of thing, yeah, um, obviously Yamato see her, sees herself as the predecessor, the, sorry, the continuation of, of Odin, Odin spirit, to be uh, like, fight Kaido and save Vano for, from corruption and in, in, in adjustment and imprisonment and this kind of thing. And this, um, something I really want to talk about that I think is, what I think is important here is that when Yamato talks about that she is Odin, I don't think that Yamato sees herself as a man. I think she sees herself as Odin's fighting spirit and his, his spiritual morality and belief to be a just and protector for the for weak for the weak people in Vano, for people that are weak in that sense that they have lost their hope and they need some kind of a savior to protect them in some ways against 
yeah, corruption. So I, I don't think that we have to see it as that he, that just because Yamato uh, think that he, she is Odin, that she thinks herself as a man. I think it, when the creator of One Piece, I think it's more likelier that that person thinks when she creates these two characters, that y y Yamato is more a spiritual M uh, Odin is her spiritual mirror image uh, in the sense I, this is the thing here uh, that I think the, uh, the other problem is also in the um, in the society uh, like many people take s things very literally uh, just because somebody uh, just because somebody is a woman and they dress like a man do not mean that they think they are a man. It, 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 um, no, it's a different, very complicated thing here. It's very complicated because it's very important to understand that just because the, you have to understand something, so just because you dress in a different way, do not mean that you think that you are what you dress yourself to, if that makes any sense. And and this is what I think with Yamato, just because you believe that you follow a man like Odin, don't mean that you think yourself as a man. Yamato only sees herself as Odin because Odin is a big inspiration to her. And not that she is Odin. She, nobody can be Odin. No, even nobody can be Kaido. Nobody can be Monkey Luffy. They can get inspired of Monkey Luffy and want to follow his his steps. Maybe a uh, next generation of pirates after Monkey Luffy have been the revolution revolutionary leader or the pirate king. Maybe a uh, other young girl want to follow his step. Don't this girl does not mean that that girl is Monkey Luffy just because she she says that she is Monkey Luffy. You have to understand that this is. Sorry, this is very important because just because you see yourself as a per that person do not mean that you see yourself as a man or a girl just because that person you look up to is a man or a girl. Man or, sorry, a man or a woman. Um, and this is very, very important. I think this is what I see. Yamato is, is a girl, but Yamato see, sees herself as her mirror image of Odin, not that she is a man because she see up, see herself, sees herself up to Odin, and this kind of thing. Yeah, uh, this is just this is what I this is what I think really about. I think I think that is important to say uh, about all of this um, it, about this topic, and obviously everybody can ha have their own opinion about all of this. Uh, this is just my my opinion. But other people think is what is the, their own opinion, and I think that is very unnecessary. Really, it, oh, from all of the start, it, this is just a character many people like because this character is very interesting. That Yamato is very interesting, and obviously Yamato have a, a, she have a very cool ability. That she can be like um, she have a mythical uh, wolf fruit, uh, so that is really cool. Obviously, the fruit called dog 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 is called dog fruit, but there's a some mythical wolf in in Vanu, which is the region of Vanu. Um, yeah. So, uh, and we obviously see a little bit more of Yamato's backstory, very little. That we see that one of the samurai was put on some kind of uh, crucifixion because she uh, that person gives uh, Yamato a rice bowl and obviously that is what Kaido says so what what this was Kaido do so Kaido do that he punish everybody that gets close to Yamato and try to be her friends or try to help her in different way so when people see uh, like that pe when people see that that people have helped Yamato get crucified or executed in different sh shape and forms, they keep their distance from Yamato, and more and more people keep distance from Yamato. More 
Yamato get broken down and she lose her spirit to be Odin and, and that is how Kaido works. Kaido breaks down people to enslave them in this kind of way, in psychological enslavement. And so, the, so there is a reason Ka why Kaido is so evil. Like Kaido really, re Kaido really, really want his own uh, vision for uh, for Wano and the world. He want the world to be under his own opinion. He want the world to only the strongest should should survive. Only the most aggressive should rule. And nobody else should have any uh, anything uh, anything to say, and everybody should be quiet, and all of this kind. Of, this is what Kaido want. Kaido want to start a war, as a war, as a common war that we see a war. But he also want to start a war on freedom. His war is against freedom. He he want to see. Obviously, we're gonna have more inspiration for Kaido's backstory to re explain really who he is. But Kaido really. Kaido really really want um, to he want to destroy people's spirit he want he, he first obviously he used force and uh, super aggression but he also used psychological uh, ter terror tactic against human he, he he breaks people down to, and he shows the friend to that person he breaks down in the horrific ways to make people lose their hope and this is the reason why Kaido have to be defeated because what Kaido is symbol symbol of hope, hopeless, hopelessness and to break it down and this is super important and he, he is a master to do this kind of thing he, he, he from the start obviously he knows that Yamato was strong so from the start he put chains on Yamato when she was very young. I think uh, I think she is, when we see uh, uh, the first part of her backstory, I think she is eight years old, eight. And we know that he, that he put Yamato in a cave with famous samurais. And so they, he knows that they probably gonna try to help help her, but then because he knows that this free samurai was in the cave and he knows that the rice bowl was put that place or Yamato was put in chain in the, close to that stone in the cave, he knows that he's gonna execute one of them. And he, he every tactic Kaido does is to show when Yamato sees it, she sees that the more closer she gets to people, they're gonna get killed. The more close they get to her, they're gonna get killed. So he he know he do everything like this to really break them down. So so Yamato will not get close to get any friends. No party will get will be friends with her and all of this kind of thing. So yeah, so he really want to just break them down and really uh, make her her su suffer. And I don't I obviously Kaido probably is also Ono Oni. Because Yamato is a princess only, and I don't really understand. The only thing I don't understand why Kaido really want to break down his own uh, daughter because of. I, have, I really look forward to see Kaido's uh, backstory. I really look forward to see what makes him that evil. Um, what happened? Why uh, he was was he always evil because he's only, or was it something that uh, was put to him when he was young, and maybe when again what the world government do to him? Is this something that there is a reason for his um, kind of uh, hatred against uh, the world, and he want just to want to destroy the world and all of this kind of thing? I don't know. Yeah, but anyways, so this was my uh, review for chapter 1025. Uh, if you like it, leave me a comment and so on. Okay, bye.